If you want to supercharge your search capabilities within the MongoDB Atlas, then Atlas Search tool is for you. Welcome to MongoDB's YouTube channel. My name is Asavari and today we will understand what Atlas Search is and how are these indexes created. We would be having three parts of the video where in the first part we would understand how these indexes are created using different methods and in the next two part we will be utilizing these indexes to perform some search capabilities. Now before we get into the video it is necessary to understand what Atlas Search is and what Atlas Search provides. The Atlas Search feature is a full text feature which allows you to perform your search in a very efficient way. It not only provides the full text search but also provides capabilities like autocomplete or fuzzy search or even some language analyzers. Now with these language analyzers you can also create some of the custom analyzers of your own which we would be getting into in the last part of this video. Before we get into the video it is necessary for us to understand what Atlas search is and what are the capabilities that it provides. Atlas search by MongoDB is a full text feature which is provided to make your search more efficient and fast. Now along with these full text search capability it also allows you to do autocomplete, it also allows you to do fuzzy searches and also with some language analyzers. Now this is not just it. Along with the language analyzers that we have, we also have the capability of creating these custom analyzers. We would understand how do we create these custom analyzers in the last part of this video. So let's start by creating the free tier Atlas cluster and load the sample data and then we would get on understanding how these indexes are created. So in the description you would see the link to create your free Atlas tier cluster. Once you create the free Atlas tier cluster, this is the page you would land in where your org would already be created. Once your org is created, let's start by creating a new project. Let's name the project as Atlas Search Demo. <laughs> so by the time the project is creating, the complete video would be categorized into four cases. In the first case, we would see a simple Atlas search index created. And then by the end of case four, you should be able to create some complex Atlas search indexes for your queries. So once your project is created, click on create cluster and your cluster would be created. The first, let's name the cluster as cluster zero. And this is a free tier that we are trying to create which is free for your use and we'll load the sample data once the cluster is created. So in this video we would be creating these Atlas search indexes using UI, using the Atlas CLI and using a Spring Boot application. Let's give it a simple name and create the database user and also let's allow all access from anywhere to our Atlas cluster. This is not again recommended for production use. So once you're all set and your cluster is created, you should be able to load your sample data. So I already have the sample data loaded in my cluster and the cluster is already created. The sample data is already loaded and then we would just get into and understand how are these indexes being created. So the first case is where you create the index where the fields are indexed automatically or dynamically. Now this case is useful when you have a dynamically changing data. Now what does this mean is when you create an index in this way that I'm going to show you right now, there are some of the fields with some specific data types that will be automatically indexed. Now you do not need to create index explicitly on these fields. For example, we would be operating on the movies collection of the sample mflex field. To create your first index, go to the Atlas search tab. <laughs> Let's click on resume index creation. <laughs> Let's start by creating the first index. Now to create your Atlas search index, there are two ways on the UI which is through visual editor and also through JSON editor. We will see both of these methods in this video. Let's start by using the visual editor which is the most simple way to create this index. Now let's name this index as 01 and let's select the collection 
from the database from the drop down on which you want to create the index click on next and then click on the search index to be created now it will take some time to start your indexes by then we should be able to log in through the atlas cli let's go back to the terminal and see how do you connect to atlas using the cli so once you have downloaded cli use the command as atlas auth login and this will allow you to connect to your atlas cluster using the cli let's copy the code which we have here and paste it and you should be able to connect let's confirm the authorization and your atlas cli would be connected so now if you see your atlas cli is already connected now let's see the ui first where we have created our first index now you see your first index is already created if you want to go and edit this index you can go on either one of them go to json editor and see the name of the index as index 01 and we have set the mapping the dynamic mapping set to true this is a very simple index which is created now in the second part in the case two if you want to explicitly create an index on a specific field then how do you do it let's understand by creating the second index here again we go back and select the movies collection name the index as index 02 and click on refine your index now inside refine your index there are different fields click on add field mapping let's select the field name for example if you wish to create this index on the full plot field click on add and your field mapping would be created let's create another field mapping say year which is of type number and then add field mapping for those two and then just save your changes and your atlas search index would be created so this is another way of creating the atlas search index now if you want to do the autocomplete feature now let's understand what autocomplete feature is first the very fine example of the autocomplete is when you go to google and you type how to you see a list of options there how to cook how to clean and there are million other things now how do these data come from this is from the autocomplete feature because if you type just the few words of your sentence your entire sentence would be completed so the google search also uses the autocomplete index feature till now we have seen the two different ways of creating these search indexes now in the third way to understand how do you create these atlas search indexes using autocomplete feature so to create those indexes we'll go back to the atlas cli and then make the connection and see how do you create those indexes for the autocomplete feature now if you go to the terminal and just type atlas auth login and connect to your organization and to your project after that you just need to create a json file so what we have right now is a json file created which has the name of the index the database the collection name and then the json part of it where we are doing the dynamic mapping setting it to true and then we are adding the autocomplete feature for the full plot field so inside the fields json that you see we have a full plot name for which we are creating this index the type of the field is autocomplete because we want to create the index which would fulfill the autocomplete capability and the tokenization for it would be type of type ngram now what tokenization is, is it is the process of dividing your entire string into different portions that is what the tokenization does now there is a link in the description about tokenization and how this works there are different types of tokenizations which are available in atlas search so once you have this json let's save this file and type atlas cluster search indexes hyphen hyphen cluster name let's see what our cluster name is it's cluster zero and then your file name which is index.json so this would be okay we have missed a keyword which is create and then it would create that atlas search index using the json file now if you just do a refresh here 
you see the third index is being created. Now for the fourth part of it, we are going to use a Spring Boot application. Now this Spring Boot application has couple of REST APIs where we are making use of these indexes but we'll understand how these REST APIs are written in the second part of the video. For the first part of the video we'll just focus on the main class where we are trying to create all of these indexes. So by the time the third index is being created let's go to the code and understand how the code is written to create the search index. In the last part of the video, we would be creating this index using the Spring Boot application. Now to create all of these indexes using programmatically or any other language, you need to have an M10 plus cluster. Now I already have an M10 plus cluster. Let's connect our application to that cluster and then see if the index is being created using the Spring Boot application for an M10 cluster. Let's get the command and the connection URI for this. Click on connect, click on the drivers and copy the URI. Once the URI is copied, paste it in the application.properties file with the correct password that you have and this would make the connection. Now once the connection is made, it would create the fourth index that we have in our Spring Boot application. Now what this fourth index does is it is allowing two different things. The first thing if you see on line number 78 of the code, it is creating an index on the full plot field with the analyzer as the English language analyzer. This is the default analyzer that we have from MongoDB. There are different other analyzers as well which are provided. For example, for a language in Spanish, you want to create an analyzer for, a, for an Italian language or a Chinese language. All of these analyzers are already present in MongoDB. Now, on line number 81, you see the word synonym. Now, this index also allows you to have the synonym feature. What synonym feature is, for example, if you're looking for a movie where the title of the movie has the word love, for example. Now, the word romance synonyms with the word love. So, if you search with the word romance, the movies with the title love should also appear on the screen. This is what synonym is going to look like. Now, how do we create the synonym mapping and how do we search on the synonym mapping? We will understand in the next part of the video. For this part, let's just create this index using this feature of the analyzer and the synonyms. Now, let's see if we are able to make the connection and create the index. Let's look at the logs. It has successfully made the connection and let's go back on the Atlas cluster where we see if the index is being created. Now you see the text index 4 is being created using the Spring Boot application. These are the four ways which we saw of creating these Atlas search indexes. There, the first two methods that we saw was using the UI. In the UI, we can create the indexes using the visual editor or the JSON editor, completely your choice. In this third case where we were trying to create an index for the autocomplete feature, we use the Atlas CLI. And in the last part where we are trying to create an index for the language analyzers and also for synonyms, we used our Spring Boot application. Now the link for this Spring Boot application is given again in the description below. If you wish to look at the written document for it, the document or the article is available on the MongoDB GitHub repository if you want to take a look. And the second part of the article is also present on the developer center. So all the links are given in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm done. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I can.